Now, as I said before, microbes are very good in surviving extremes. Let's explore this a little bit. Some microbes can survive enough radiation that would kill humans thousands of times over. They can survive five megarads of gamma irradiation. They can survive pressures that would easily crush a car, 8,000 atmospheres. They grow at extremes. They can grow anywhere from pH 0, extremely acid, to pH 11, extremely alkaline. They can grow at temperature extremes from incredibly cold to incredibly hot, 121 degrees Celsius. They can grow at high pressures, and they can grow in high salts. Many bacteria and archaea grow in lakes that are very, very salty. We use this extreme nature of bacteria in our own daily life. For example, the polymerase chain reaction is a reaction that's widely used in biotechnology, in forensics, and in research to detect very small amounts of DNA. This procedure requires incubations at high temperatures. And the only reason we can do this is because of a bacterium that was isolated from the hot springs in Yellowstone National Park that has an enzyme that will survive high temperatures. If you wash your clothes in hot water, you have the bacteria to thank for that. Laundry detergents have within them an enzyme called a hydrolase that's isolated from a thermophilic bacteria. And these are just two examples of the many ways that we take advantage of the extremophiles out there in the microbe world. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.